Meron tayong example dito ng problem sa pacing. Okay? So, ang problem, a line 200 meter long was paced by a surveyor for 3 times. Okay? He tallied 284, 290, and 286. So, ang tanong natin is determine the pace factor. So, ano ba yung formula natin bilang pagdating sa pagkuha ng pace factor? So, una-una, uh, ang pace factor natin, okay? pace factor is equal to, oh, equal siya sa known distance, okay? known distance of a certain line, okay? Dista known distance A to B, okay? over over the mean mean ng paces okay from A to B okay mean of paces from A to B okay so sa problem natin meron tayong uh, ang given na uh, line which is 200 meter diba meter. So, yan is ang ating, okay? Yan ang ating known distance. Okay? Yan ang ating known distance. So, next is the, we have a 284, 290, and 286. Okay? Ito naman, ang 284, 290, and 286, ito yung ating mga paces, okay? Paces. So, meron na tayong uh, meron na tayong mga given para masolve natin yung ating pace factor. So, sasubstitute natin siya. Okay? So, equal yan sa so ang pace factor natin is equal to known distance which is 200 meter. Okay? Okay? So, over mean. Mean of paces. So, ang mean natin, di ba? Uh, the total, okay? total of the paces all over kung ilan sila. Okay? So, tatlo sila. So, divide 3. So, 284 plus 290 plus 286 all over 3. Diba? So, equal siya sa 0 0.697. Okay? 0 0.698 meter per pace. So, yun ang ating pace factor. Okay. So, nakuha na natin yung ating pace factor which is equal to 0 0.6 0 0.698 meter per pace. Next problem natin is uh, meron tayo uh, a surveyor has a pace factor of 0 0.714 meter per pace. Okay. Ang tanong natin, okay, a, he counts 63 paces while walking from point A to point B. What is the distance between A and B? So, kung papansinin natin yung problem, meron tayo, meron tayong given na uh, pace factor. Okay, pace factor ng surveyor. So, meron tayong given na uh, 0 0.714 meter per pace. Okay, Ito yung pace factor natin. Okay. And then, next, uh, meron siyang uh, number of paces, okay? 63 paces. So, ito yung number of paces niya. So, 63 paces. Number of paces, okay? And then, next, we will find the, what is the distance between A and B? So, kung tinanong niya, what is the distance between A and B? So, ang ihahanapin natin is ang ating, pace distance. Okay? Ang formula for pace distance. Okay? Formula for pace distance is equal to uh, pace factor diba? times times number of paces. Okay? Times number of paces. So, sa substitute natin yung uh, given. So, pace factor is equal to 0.714 meter per pace, okay? Times number of paces natin is 63 paces, okay? So, kukunin natin yung kusolve natin siya, okay? Meter per pace times paces, so cancel na yung paces natin. So, 
0.714 times 63, which is equal to 44.98 meters. Ito na ang ating base distance. Okay? Ang distance from between A and B. Distance between A and B. Okay? Yan na natin yung base distance. It is 44.98. So, yan na yan. Yan na yung letter A. So, punta naman tayo sa letter B. Okay? Sa letter B tayo. Letter B is how many paces should the same Okay. The same surveyor count to lay out a line approximately 100 meter long. So, anong given natin ulit yan? So, sabi niya, the same surveyor, so, ang pace factor natin is 0.714 meter per pace ulit. And then, uh, how many paces but, to lay out a line approximately 100 meter long? So, ngayon, meron tayong 100 meter long. Yan ang ating pace distance. Yan ang ating pace distance. And then, meron tayong pace factor. So, ang hinahanap natin ngayon is number of paces naman. How many paces? So, balik tayo sa formula na naman. This is pace distance. It's equal to pace factor times number of paces. So, ang pace distance natin is 100 meter ang pace factor natin is 0.714 meter per pace times ang uh, number of pace natin is yun yung hinahanap natin number of pace natin so equate natin yung formula so solve natin Equal siya sa 140.06 meter. So, number of space natin is equal to 140.05 paces. Okay, paces. Ang kailangan natin para makagawa tayo ng approximately 100 meter long na uh, distance is ng 140 paces. Problem number 3. Okay. A line 100 meter long was paced by a surveyor for four times with the following data 142, 145, 145.5, and 146. Okay. And another line was paced for four times again with the following results. They are 893, 893.5, 891, and 895.5. So determine the following. Okay. Unang una, phase factor, mean of phases of the new line, and distance of the new line. So, unahin natin yung letter A. We have letter A, which is phase factor. Ang phase factor, okay? Ang phase factor, ang phase factor is equal to uh, known distance, okay? Known distance over mean, di ba? Mean of phases, di ba? Mean, mean of paces. So, uh, pace factor is equal to long distance natin. Okay? Ang given natin, ang may long distance tayo na 100 meters. Okay? So, 100 meters. Okay? Over, ang mean of paces natin, di ba? Mean. So, yung line natin is na, na pace niya na 142. Okay? 142 plus 145 plus 145.5 plus 146 okay all over okay so mawawa natin yung pace factor natin okay mean is over di ba 4 sila over 4 ang pace factor natin is 0.69 meter per pace. Okay? So, meron na tayo pace factor na 0 0.69 meter per pace. 
ko. So, number two naman. So, number two, determine the mean of phases of the new line. So, sabi niya, mean. Okay? So, ang pagkuhan ng mean, di ba? Yung total niya over number of uh, given, di ba? So, apat sila. Yung other line natin, we have 893. Okay? We have mean is equal to 893 plus 893.5 plus 891 plus uh, 895.5 over 4. So, ang mean natin is equal to 893 0.25 paces. Okay? So, yun ang uh, mean natin ng second line number of paces. Okay? So, sa letter C naman tayo, letter C, distance of the new line. So, pag sinabing distance of the new line, we are looking for the uh, pace distance. Okay? We are looking for the pace distance. Anong formula sa pace distance is equal to pace factor times number of paces. Di ba? Okay? So, equal siya sa Distance of the new line, di ba? So, number of paces natin. Di ba? So, ang pace factor natin, di ba? Ang pace factor natin is uh, 0.69, di ba? 0.69, di ba? Meter per pace. And then, ang average natin ng uh, number of pace natin is 800 93.25 paces. Okay? Paces. Okay? So, equal yan sa cancel yung pace. Cancel yung pace. So, ang naiwan natin is meter. So, 893.25 times 0.69 is equal to 616.34. Ito yung distance ng ating new line. Ito yung distance ng ating new line. So, ayun siya.